Hello, my name's Rachel, and this is Russell, an Airedale Terrier. He's the star of my children's stories, Ruffle the Railroad. Say hello, Ruffle. Ruffle has exciting adventures at a railway station just like this one. He lives very near the station and comes down to meet Eric, the station master. Eric makes sure that Ruffle keeps safe on his visits here. This is Eric, the station master. Give everybody a wave, Eric. I know Ruffle. Shall we tell the listeners one of your stories? We shall. Okay, come on then. Ruffles walks, following a trail. One morning, Ruffle was sitting on one of the green platform benches alongside Ben, the engine driver of the green train, and Samantha, the lady who looked after Ruffle in one of the carriages when he went for a ride on the train. Samantha and Ben were talking about how good Ruffle's nose actually was. Samantha was telling Ben how Ruffle had found the smallest crumb of biscuit right under the seat in one of the carriages. They were wondering if Ruffle's nose was as good as a bloodhound's nose. They asked Eric what he thought. Eric suggested that they lay a trail for Ruffle, perhaps using sticks and stones for the humans to follow, but perhaps pieces of bacon for Ruffle to follow. Samantha and Ben agreed to it. There was a little wood next to the station, so it was decided that Samantha and Eric would go on ahead and lay trails of sticks and stones to point the direction in which Ruffle should go next. At each sticks and stones trail, they would leave a small bit of bacon for Ruffle to sniff out. Ben would then come along with Ruffle on the lead and see if Ruffle could follow the scent to the next bit of bacon. All was ready. Samantha and Eric set off into the little wood and very soon came to a place where it was brilliant for the first trail to be left. They quickly left an arrow on the floor pointing in the straight line direction so that Ben would know which way to take next. Out of a little bag, Samantha put a small piece of bacon onto the floor next to the trail. All was ready. They quickly moved off, ready to go and lay the next trail. Very soon, Ben started off with Ruffle. Bacon, said Ben to Ruffle. Bacon, find the bacon. Ruffle knew the word bacon and very soon started to smell the air. What was that bacon he could smell? It was. Off he went, pulling Ben in the direction that Samantha and Eric had taken. He soon came to the first trail and gobbled up the bacon. Okay, boy, said Ben. Find the next one. Bacon, bacon. Ruffle sniffed the air. There it was, that lovely smell of bacon. And it was heading in this direction. He went straight along to the trail, the direction that Samantha and Eric had laid the light, the little arrow. Very soon, he came to the next trail and straight away sniffed out the bacon, <laughs> gobbling it straight up. But on this one, the arrow that Samantha and Eric had laid was pointing to the left. Ben held his breath. Would Ruffle know to turn to the left and not go straight on? Ben encouraged him again. Bacon, boy, bacon! <laughs> Ruffle sniffed the air. Oh, there, there's the smell of bacon again. But he turned to the left and followed the track down to the left. He didn't go straight on. Ben smiled to himself. Yes, Ruffle's nose was good after all. Ruffle led the way down the path to the final trail. <laughs> he gobbled up the bacon as soon as he found it. Samantha and Eric were hiding behind a tree waiting for him. Well done, said Samantha, stepping out. Good boy, Ruffle. I knew your nose was brilliant, even if it does get you into trouble sometime. They all gave Ruffle a pat and walked steadily back to the station. I think we'll cook some bacon, said Eric. I'm getting quite hungry myself. Off they went. Join us next time for another Ruffle the Rail Dog story. Remember, you can learn more about Ruffle's stories on our website, www.
ruffletheroundog.co.uk or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, goodbye. Rah, rah.